In the Tang Dynasty, getting married was not easy for princesses, so the son-in-law had difficult time. The difficulty of the princess getting married and the Li Guangs getting promoted is a typical feature of the Tang Dynasty, especially in the late Tang Dynasty. The saying that the princess, being the emperor's daughter, has no worry about marriage doesn't apply to the princess in the Tang Dynasty. When she did get married, for example, to the official family, people would turn pale at the mention of her. Do you know how difficult it was to marry of a princess in the Tang Dynasty? It is recorded that in the eighth year, Yuan He, sixteen twenty-two, Princess Qi Yang, the eldest daughter of Tang Xianzong, had reached the marriageable age. So the emperor ordered the prime minister in federal China to select a husband for his daughter among the gentry intellectuals. Born beauty with honorable identity, Princess Qi Yang should have been the girl of own boy's dreams. On the contrary, those aristocrats avoid her like a plague. Why were those gentry intellectuals unwilling to marry the princess? A gentry speculation was that the princess did not keep the virtue of women in the most open mind period of ancient China. The royal family of the Tang Dynasty was open and unrestrained in character because of their Xianbei lineage. For instance, Empress Wu and her husband Emperor Li Zhi, Emperor Li Longjing, and his concubine Yang Yuhuang, Princess Taiping, and Princess Gaoyang were all negative examples of running counter to the royalty principle in marriage. This speculation part me made sense, but was not primary cause. After all, the princess who did not practice women's morality were only the minority, so this assumption was biased. In fact, the very high social status of princess was what deterred those aristocrats. In the dynasty with an、uh, empress, even common women had say in their family, they are long princess. Emperor Xuanzong of the Tang Dynasty was superstitious. It is recorded that he once went to betroth his sister Princess Yuchen to Sorcerer Zhang Guo. Zhang Guo heard about it and had complained to his friends Wang Huizhi and Xiao Hua about it. As the saying goes, marrying a princess is equal to introducing in a new supervision. So he resolutely rejected the marriage. Introducing in a new supervision means that the princess served as A supervision of the husband and his family. It can be seen that because of the inequality of identity, the husband might feel inferior to the princess. According to historical records, although Li Chen, Emperor Xuanzong of the Tang Dynasty, had eleven daughters in all, only five of whom were actually married off. In order to marry off a daughter, Emperor Xuanzong racked his brain. There was an interesting story regarding this at the time. In 859 A.D., Emperor Xuanzong intended to select the son-in-law for his daughter, Princess Yongfu, among sons of the aristocratic family. However, none of them was interested except one of the emperor's son-in-law, called Zheng Hao, who saw this great opportunity for Yu Cong, then an ambitious young man seeking for the promotion. He told Yu Cong, "Despite your talent, you are too undisciplined to get into people with power. It is hard for you to be." Can a senior official in your lifetime, unless you sign this chance. Now, Your Majesty intends to select the son-in-law for Princess Yongfu. You can go for it. Once you become a son-in-law, your official career will be secured. As a man of sophistication, Yu Cong surely wouldn't let go this gold chance. After seeing Yu Cong, the Emperor was very satisfied with this future son-in-law, so the marriage was settled. As it turned out, Yu was successfully promoted. Noted by three ranks, from an editor and a teacher to a deputy minister. On the other hand, the princess was also satisfied with finding her a handsome and talented husband. It happened one day when Yongfu princess ate together with emperor. They then had a dispute for which the princess broke chopsticks. They got quarrelling because of the small matter, and the princess broke the chopstick. Seeing the Ill manner of the princess, the emperor was irritated and said, "You are not fit for the scolded husband." Then he abolished the engagement. In this situation, what to do with Yu Cong? The emperor then married his fourth daughter, Princess Guangde, to Yu Cong. Princess Yongfu had no way but to accept it helplessly. Princess Guangde was much more virtuous. She was respectful and tended her husband and his family well. Thus, a perfect marriage for both sides. What the emperor said was golden rules. 
if emperor was determined to marry princess yongfu to yu tong yu tong could do nothing but accept it however with such a credible emperor the marriage was guaranteed Although it was cruel reality to Princess Yongfu, it was a happy result for Princess Guangde and Yu Tong. It's hard to imagine how Princess Yongfu reacted as soon as she saw chopsticks.